ECU Athletics presents The Coach Mo Show. The Coach Mo Show is brought to you by Vitant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Coach Mo Show. Coach Mo will be here in just a few minutes. We'll look at the highlights from the Memphis game played at the Liberty Bowl. Also, our Brian Bailey will have our Pirate player profile. Brandon Smith will be in the spotlight, the big right tackle for the Pirates. Also, Jeff Connors will be here. Another Camp Connors segment coming up. And then a look ahead to Pirate basketball. The Pirates have already had some games, and the season is here. We'll be back, and Coach Mo will join me right after this. to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. Begins with a vision. It builds strength, endurance, focus, determination. It transforms athletes into a team and fans into believers. It creates an unstoppable force, a force to be reckoned with, a force that is power. The American Power for Life. Today's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide insurance agents. Coach Mo joins us now. Pirates lose this one 70 to 13 to Memphis and Scotty all week. We talked about getting off to fast start. You thought that was important today, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was really, really important. We knew that this was a dynamic football team. That's why we took the ball right out of the gate. I felt like we had a lot of things that we could do right. Uh, and unfortunately, we just didn't. We took some steps forward in weeks past. This was a lot of steps back. 
Um, but it, it, what's going to be very important is how we perform uh, in, in the offseason, and that's what that's going to be the difference. Well, once they got it rolling, they did really get it rolling. They can hurt you running the ball and also throwing the ball, can't they? It was just the big plays, just all over the field. Well, we've talked about it all year. Of course, we got to make some, you know, we got to make some adjustments and and uh, you know, just big plays all over the place. With the first play of the game to their best player, uh, we knew that coming in. We didn't want to let him get into the seams against us. He didn't do that, but they just picked it up and threw it to him, and he outran us all. Coach, uh, everybody's beat up this time of year, but uh, you were playing a little shorthanded today. You had some guys hurt. Yeah, we had a lot of guys down, but you know we also believe in the next man up. We had some guys step up in the, the previous few weeks and, and make some plays. Uh, we didn't get Brandon until uh, in there until the end, uh, uh, to the second half uh, or whatnot. But there was a lot of guys in our interior on the outside that we wish we could have played with. We didn't. That's not the reason or excuse for us losing the football game and losing the football game in this manner. Uh, but, but that's something that we also have to continue to work on. Jake Verity had to punt today as well. How do you think he did? You know, he, he struggled a little bit in his place kicking because of some of the holds. You know, he, he really got to a point in time where he came to me on the sideline. He was just like, you know, his timing with the hold was just not what it needed to be. And that's what happens when you've been with a guy, you know, for 12, 13 weeks. And then we insert a guy there. So we just didn't get it done. Uh, we, we didn't get it done today. But he did a good job of getting the ball out on some punts. Uh, so, you know, all in all, he, he did as good of a job as he could. And coach, when you get behind like that, uh, you have to pretty much abandon the running game and Gardner had to throw it. Yeah, it put us in a position to where they were just rushing the edges on us. They were very talented. Number six is very talented defensive end. But at the same time, we still had opportunities to run the ball early and we didn't. We didn't do a good job at running it. We'll be back and we will have more with Coach Mo right after this. Penix goes in motion to the left, empty backfield, Minshew to throw, steps up, fires over the middle, has a man at the five, into the end zone with a touchdown is the senior Jimmy Williams. And ECU has its first score of the afternoon, a 33-yard touchdown connection. Sight or the savory fall apart tender ribs. Or you could start with dessert. You're the boss, boss. We have over 150 choices, but the only one that matters is yours. Golden Corral, your choice rules. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. It's nonstop when we're born. It can be awkward unexpected or simply perfect but at its core attention is good here it's multiplied not divided and given to our clients every day BB&T all we see is you
Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research. Discovering molecules that kill cancer cells. T-cell generation that could treat MS. Breakthroughs in particle laser physics. Top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right. This is ECU, America's next great national university. Welcome back to the show. Pirates are down 49 to nothing at halftime. And uh, Coach, what do you say to your team at that point? You know, like you're playing, you playing the game because you love to play it. When you go back into the locker room and you got guys that are down, they're looking uh, for somebody to be there as a leader, and I was there. I went right in and looked at them. I appreciate everything they did, but we get judged on our playing and our efforts on the field. So we got to get up, go back out, get some points, get some stops, and, and give us a chance to go play in this football game. I would guess in a game like this, you find out who your Warriors are. Yeah, we never questioned on, on who our Warriors are. We knew coming into the game, we knew that our kids, kids would battle. It's just unfortunate we went against a better team, fo football team today that played better, played harder. Uh, they outcoached us and outworked us today, and it was one of those games to where you better be ready to play when you play against one of the top teams in the country. Gardner did get it going a little bit here in the second half, Coach. Uh, the offense did put a couple of touchdowns on the board. He did a good job spreading the ball around a little bit. It was the third downs that gave us issues all day. Uh, they, did, they did a lot of movement out on us, and then and they knew that we had to throw it. You know, one of those things when you're in a game and it's tight and he's third and four, third and five, third and six, and it's a one touchdown, two touchdown game, you still have the ability to run it on third down. When you're down, you know that you have to throw it. Hassan Howe, I thought, uh, played his heart out and played a pretty good ball game. He, he always plays hard. The young player that we've, we've really tried to push and push and push, and he's, uh, he's a program guy that's going to work hard and get his job done, and we can continue to see him grow in the offseason. And Coach, how about Tyshawn Dye in the fourth quarter? He knew this was it for him as far as his college football eligibility is concerned, and he ran the ball really hard. He did. He ran it. We told him when he go in there, you know, just give it everything you have, man. Run the ball with everything you have. We're proud of him. He did a good job. He went in, took care of the football, and played like it was his last time. And yeah, we have to talk about Trayvon Brown, too. He made some great catches again. Trayvon is continuing to come on. I mean, we're really, we're really happy with where he is and where he's came from and the things that he's been able to do. It's one of the things you, you talk about. You got coming back next year, you got your, your, your leading quarterback, your leading pass uh, thrower, your, your leading pass catcher and yardage, and then your leading rusher all coming back next year. So that's always a good trifecta to have. And it was good to see Jimmy Williams make that touchdown catch, too, in his final game. I was happy for him. He went back in there and, and he's battled these last five to six weeks of being able to practice and, and even come through warm ups. But he found a way to get in the game. He uses adrenaline to get in the end zone. So, Coach, this is the final game, obviously, our final show as well. What's your message now to the Pirate fans moving forward? You know, we're going to come back the next time we're on the field. I can guarantee you that we will be a faster, stronger, better uh, team than we are right now. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. Our, our program has a lot of work to do. Uh, we're going to make sure that we do all the little things that will get us to playing at the level that these teams, there's some top tier teams in our conference, and that's where we got to get to. Okay, Coach, thanks so much. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Scotty Montgomery, coming back with more right after this. A look back to great bowl wins in Pirate history. December 23rd, 2013, St. Petersburg, Florida. Dressed in black, the Pirates headed into the Beef O'Brady's Bowl with some tricks up their sleeves. Receiver Cam Worthy switched roles with quarterback Shane Carton as the two hooked up on a 14-yard touchdown pass. The Pirates capped off a 10-3 record with the 37-20 win as they finished the season a perfect 6-0 wearing black.
Pirate fans. Planet Fitness in Greenville is a proud sponsor of ECU football. Sail in for this great deal. Get the Planet Fitness black card now and enjoy exclusive access at Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and throughout the Triangle area. One low price for everything Planet Fitness. Unlimited guest privileges, free unlimited fitness training, hydro massage and massage chairs, tanning, and more. Make out like a pirate. Get the Planet Fitness black card today. Online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness, the world judges. We don't. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. 7,000 student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU, America's next great national university. to perform that second movement more effectively. Uh, kind of has the same concept of picking up a box with weight in it. Somebody takes the weight out of the box and then you go and pick up the box again, not knowing that they took the weight out of the box. So same type of concept. So we're gonna start with a single leg. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Big Brandon Smith started his 35th straight game as a Pirate on Saturday at Memphis. The 6'8", 330-pounder has proven to be an imposing figure on the Pirate offensive line, but he suffered a rare injury late. This week, he was in the treatment room as much as three times a day, trying to get ready for that final start. It's a uh, treatment as many times a day uh, in between classes, after classes, before class. I mean, whenever I can, I'm just getting in uh, for treatment so I can get better for Saturday. The offensive line is a brotherhood, especially at ECU. Pirate junior Garrett McGinn won't know what to do without his running mate Smith on that offensive line next season. Uh, he's one of my closest friends on this team. I mean, he's just a tough guy. I mean, I hate to see him go down one of his last games here because that kid hasn't been hurt his, enti his entire career. Uh, he does everything the coaches ask for him, gets good grades, got his degree, helps out in the community. I mean, if you see any of his social medias, you always see him hanging around with all those little kids. And he makes a huge impact on their lives. And when a pirate scores a touchdown, well, get ready to take flight. Hey, we call it the flight team. You know what I'm saying? You get in that, uh, you get in that end zone. Just look for me, and I'm gonna pull you. I'm gonna put you up in the sky, man. Some people don't expect to come down. Thirty-five straight starts as a pirate. What does it all mean? I haven't. I didn't even know it was a. It was a thing. I was like, uh, when he told me, I was like, hold on. I was like, what? But hey, uh, I mean, it's an honor to be able to play for this school, play in this community. I mean, I love Greenville. I love ECU. So you know. It means a lot. A true Iron Man on the offensive line in purple and gold, that's Brandon Smith. Reporting for the Coach Mo Show, I'm Brian Bailey. ECU student athletes continue to lead in the community as members of the football team made their weekly visit to the James and Connie Maynard Children's Hospital in Greenville. The Pirates put smiles on faces, but they say they get as much out of the visits as the kids. It's amazing just to see them uh, smile, you know, in their situation that they're in. So, you know, it's just good to come in here and put a smile on their face and get one right back. It means a lot to me as well, uh, since I like working with kids first off, so it means a lot. And Brandon even got to show off some of his dance moves. The team has made 28 visits to the Children's Hospital this semester. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Tchau. Today we're with future linebacker Tez Harris, and what we're going to look at today is the concept of post-activation potentiation. Uh, with the concept of post-activation potentiation, basically what we're saying is that we're going to use a heavy barbell movement, and then shortly after follow that with an explosive type movement, uh, possibly a jump or a sprint. And because of the heavy barbell movement, we're going to be able to perform that second movement more effectively. Uh, kind of has the same concept of picking up a box with weight in it. Somebody takes the weight out of the box and then you go and pick up the box again, not knowing that they took the weight out of the box. So same type of concept. So we're gonna start with a single leg barbell step up. We're gonna do three reps. Sit. I want this weight to be relatively heavy. Let's go to the other side. What we're gonna do this, we're gonna follow the step up now with what we call a depth jump. <clears throat> this is a true depth jump if the box height on this side slightly exceeds Tez's vertical jump. So he's gonna drop to the floor, come off the ground as quickly as humanly possible, and land safely in the middle of the box. Okay, here we go. Good. Where post-activation potentiation is concerned, there's plenty of research out there right now uh, to indicate that it is an effective way of training. Uh, we really don't know a whole lot about the rest periods uh, so there's, there's still studies being done on that. Uh, really looking forward to Tez this spring showing up at linebacker. He's done a good job for us on scout team and also on our developmental squad. Camp Connors is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. So you're up at dawn, kid, look alive. You've been saving for a big man cave. Good luck with that, Dave. You made the most of your retirement plan, so you better learn to drive that RV man. So many things you're doing in your life. Nationwide is on your side. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. It's non-stop when we're born. It can be awkward, unexpected, or simply perfect. But at its core, attention is good. Here it's multiplied, not divided, and given to our clients every day. BB&T, all we see is you. It begins with a vision. It builds strength, endurance, focus, determination. It transforms athletes into a team and fans into believers. It creates an unstoppable force, a force to be reckoned with.
force that is power. The American Power for Life. Pirate Nation, on behalf of our team and our coaching staff, I want to say thank you. You're the reason we play. You're the reason our game day experience at Bagwell Field inside Dowdy Ficklin Stadium is as energetic and dynamic as it is. You're the reason our young men have the opportunity to wear the purple and gold. Being a pirate is more than a state of mind. It's a way of life. We ask that you continue to bring that passion and enthusiasm each and every Saturday and we'll continue to be undaunted in our pursuit of greatness. Again, we appreciate all that you do to make ECU a special place. Go Pirates! Snow showers to start the game. They have a tough day, and you just well, you know, salt the wound with some Music City Miracle. We have to represent the West Coast and the Buffalo Bills, and there's a nice connection to Zay Jones. On the field, a former Seahawk played here 2011 to 14. Ryan in a crowd throws a low ball, and oh, it's a catch. A terrific catch made by Justin Hardy. Bunch to the right, a blitz from Seattle. And an on-target throw by Ryan. First and goal, Atlanta, on another catch by Justin Hardy. North Carolina, number 15, Kendrell Barkley! It's recovered on defense because they turned it over again. And now Cleveland State turns it over. B.J. Tyson the steal and the Tomahawk jam at the other end. Comes up, finds Tyson, Tyson to Fleming. Fleming with a great look and he gives it up to Spazajevic who dunks it with two hands. A lot of flow right now, much better basket. Tyson back to Fleming on the right side. There's a lot. B.J. jumps out of the Raptors for the two-hand jam. After the timeout, Jeff Lebo. Played by the Pirates with 1.50 to go. Here's Fleming into the front court to the basket with the right hand. He'll lay it in. His first basket of the ball game. One minute to go. Fleming's got the basketball. The Pirates are down four. Fleming gives it to B.J. Three ball is up and good. Mike Tyson. He hits the three off the left wing. And the Pirates cut it to wood. 69-68. And B.J. is knocking down three. He gets the turnover. Then he hits the to Barkley. Barkley with it. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Here's Fleming looking for the basket. Goes up with the left hand shot. Good. Fleming is proud. He'll go to the line for a three-point punt. Kenny inbounds the ball. It goes to Appleby. Appleby with it. He's going to put up a three. Top of the key off the front iron. Tip is no good. Pirates win. And you can paint this with purple. Thanks so much for being with us on the show. Pirate fans, you're the best. We'll see you next week. The Coach Mo Show has been presented by Sudden Link. One gig speed from Sudden Link is here. The Coach Mo Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.